So lots of money being raised and a lot of support coming as well from the independent MEP, Nicky Sinclair, uh, who has been amongst Jamie and his family's most vocal supporters. Pleased to say that Nicky joins us uh, live this morning on BBC WM. Very good morning to you, Nicky. Good morning. Um, what, what's the latest you know on the story, first of all? OK, we, we, we've encountered some difficulties with uh, bureaucracy. I mean, we've had bureaucracy with the government and the Greek authorities all the way along here, and I've, that's what I was trying to deal with, first of all, and we just couldn't make any headway. Um, we're now subject to a Greek strike this week, which has caused us um, a lot of problems and threatens to cost us a lot of money as well. Um, the... Uh, what we've actually decided to do to make sure we actually get Jamie home in the most cost-effective way was send out a road ambulance last night, and that left uh, Birmingham last night, and that will pick him up from Athens this week and bring him home. Um, that was decided as the most cost-effective, definite way of getting him home this week. Uh, and is everybody confident he's fit enough to travel that way? Yes, uh, but the, the Greek doctors have said he is, but what's actually happening is also liaison with a British doctor, and there will be a British doctor that will be accompanying him home, and the British doctor will have to examine him and sign him off in Athens before he gets into the ambulance. It's been quite an effort from his family, from his friends, and of course this week via the, the, the BBC WM phone callers as well, you know, complete strangers rallying around to try and help the family out here. It's been, the, the response has been absolutely amazing. Um, what I would say to those people, please, uh, there's a lot of you that's pledged money, you really, please, can you make sure you send in the cheques because that money's been, it's been relied on. And uh, they can, of course, donate it online on the uh, um, www.justforgiving.com forward slash bring Jamie home where they can put their, either their credit cards or even use by their mobile phone, they can donate money. The reason I wanted to raise this at this time on a Sunday morning when we do uh -huh. the Sunday Dilemma, in, in that without dealing with, with the specifics of Jamie's case, we'll, we'll leave that to one side slightly, Nicky, if we can, but it does, oh. it does bring home the fact that travelling abroad, as you have to do an awful lot in your role as an MEP... Too much. We, yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> we, 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 we kind of all need to be aware of, of, of what we need to do to safeguard ourselves and, and not be reliant on, oh, well, the government will come to the rescue, you know, we'll just go to the, uh, you know, whoever the local British official is, the British Council, and, and they'll sort us out. We can't rely on these things, and we can't necessarily rely on some of the insurance we've got. No. Um, first thing uh, first is that there, you can get an E111, which is free of charge, which gives you basic health care, um, emergency and basic health care while you're in, um, in Europe. Um, however, you know, that doesn't actually give you total health care as you would expect it back, back here at home. So you really need to get full travel insurance and make sure that you, you read all the terms and conditions and if there's any pre-existing medical conditions, you must actually advise the insurance company before you go. Because we all know insurance companies, if they can not pay for any reason, they won't pay. So you really must make sure that you have full cover before you travel anywhere abroad and that includes Europe too. Because, you know, you can't expect in a situation where you're abroad and something happens, you have an accident, you fall ill, you can't expect whoever the local government are to be bailing you out, in, in, and, particularly and, you know, in these the times. Part, I mean, one of the most uh, annoying things about this is actually the British government are being invoiced for Jamie's care in Greece. Uh, and, you know, I don't want to be disrespectful of the, the Greek authorities or the healthcare system. It's not on par with ours. Uh, he's not getting recoverable care at the moment. Um, whereas he would be getting recoverable care if he was here in Birmingham in hospital. So we've got, we're actually, you know, throwing away a lot of taxpayers' money at the moment, and it would actually probably be cheaper for the government to got him home and treated him in this country. Yeah, and, and that's the issue, isn't it? Because it, cause the thing is, in, in a way, at the moment, what he's receiving is pain-killing and any necessary procedures that absolutely have to be done. But in terms of his long-term recuperation, at the moment, it, it's just, you know, it's treading water, isn't it? Yeah. And, and that's the most, you know, an annoying thing about this. And, you know, I've been speaking to government departments, my office has, and, you know, it's just like you want to shake them and say, come on, can you see common sense? But, uh, you know, bureaucrats can't see common sense for some reason. No, no, it seems to be the case. Well, look, I'd like to applaud you very much for, for the efforts that you've put in on uh, on behalf of Jamie's no, family. I've just, I've just highlighted it. I mean, the real people are, you know, some of the people who've organised, who've been on to the doctors on a daily basis and organised this. You know, Dave Morales from Medical Assistance and you've also got missing people aboard. They've done a fantastic job. As well as, you know, you've done in the BBC, so congratulations to you and to your listeners. But please, you know, if you've 
if you've pledged money, please, please, please send that money because it is necessary that we are counting on that money. Um, we're really frustrated by these strikes, but we're trying to get them home as quickly as possible in the most safest way. Well, the point I would make, Nicky, is that sometimes you need somebody to rattle a cage, and you rattle the odd cage, and that's oh, very I like, important. I like doing that. <laughs> Absolutely, no <laughs> doubt about it. Nicky Sinclair, thanks so much for joining us. Independent MEP Nicky yeah. Sinclair, who's been, uh, who has, she'll play it down, but has played a fundamental role uh, in uh, in the opportunity to get Jamie West back into this country as soon as possible in the next few days, in order to start getting the treatment that will help him properly recuperate and hopefully get back on track.